So welcome to the San Roque new course, very famous course uh, and over the years it's hosted many big events including uh, the Spanish Open in 2006 uh, and multiple uh, European Tour School final stage events. Uh, very very tricky golf course especially the front nine. Back nine a little bit easier it can yield some birdies. Uh, what we're going to do is a little series to give you some insights on four or five of the key feature holes here that our players in the Triple A series will experience. The first of our feature holes on the San Roque New Course is the fourth hole, uh, a very interesting par three. So interesting, in fact, that the great man himself, Severiano Ballesteros, built himself this tee box. Um, from where he used to hit all sorts of shape shots as only he could. Um, but it gives you a great sense, as you can see behind me, of how the difficulty of the hole really catches the golfer's eye. You've got a gorge to the left, uh, even cuts in a little bit short, also a little bit on the long side. Uh, then you've got a very interesting, or interestingly shaped green. It starts to narrow, billows out a little bit, so thank goodness it gets a little bit friendly uh, at the back end of the green. Um, the golfers are obviously going to tend to bail out to the right, but even to the right hand side there's no bargain. You've got bunkers guarding the right hand side, quite a fall off and a drop off, which will then leave you a very tricky shot. Again, almost kind of firing to a green which is not that deep from that angle and going back to the gorge. This is certainly a hole where if you can get a three, you're stealing a shot from the field. The seventh hole on the San Roque New Course, classic risk reward par five. You've got trees and slopes flanking both the right and the left side of the fairway, so you're coming through quite a narrow chute. If you do hit a good drive, however, you are then faced with that chance to go for the green in two. However, as you can see behind me, we've got a water hazard which runs all the way down the left-hand side. So any ball that's going slightly left is going to catch you out there and then down the right the fairway has been really cleverly cambered and banked kind of funneling your ball into the many bunkers uh, down there if you can avoid those like i said you're going to have yourself set up for a nice eagle or birdie chance 12th hole at San Roque is a fantastic example of risk reward golf. It's a fairly short par four, it's drivable, so obviously at 300 yards we're going to find some players are going to be hitting drivers and maybe even three woods depending on the conditions onto the green. However, you've got to be very careful. We've seen players also spending a lot of shots on this hole, sixes and sevens, and this is why. Out of bounds down the right if you get too pushy, uh, literally, uh, there's a bunker which also is guarding the right hand side and down the left which is probably going to be your favorite target line off the tee you've got all sorts of humps and bumps and moguls and when you bear in mind that you'll be playing what would obviously be a fairly short pitch shot but from a really challenging sloping lie to a green which has a seven percent slope in it from left to right and running away from you and running towards the bunkers it's a very tricky proposition The 14th hole at San Roque New Course is a devilish par four. Very, very similar tee shot wise to the seventh. It runs parallel. So you come through a narrow shoot of trees. The prevailing wind off the left is gonna to tend to push your ball towards the trees on the right. Provided you've negotiated that part quite well, you've hit a good tee shot and you're maybe just a little bit short of this cart path, you will now face with this as your second shot. Check this out water hazard running all down the right hand side the water cutting in very very narrow green really really slim only some 14 paces across um, so you're going to tend to bail out obviously to the left you're then faced with no bargain at all because you've got swales humps and bumps all levels of rough and then you're chipping back to the water so without a doubt if you're making a four here it'll probably feel like a birdie The 18th hole, what a finishing hole this is. Tough off the tee, it's quite long, it's quite demanding. Bunker left, uh, trees again both sides. 
heavy, heavy slopes and mounds on the right hand side of the fairway. So again, it's premium in terms of how good your tee shot is. And again, it's no bargain because once you've actually split the fairway, you're now left with an approach shot into a green, which is only 16 yards wide. You've got water, as you can see on my right and the player's right, uh, guarding the entirety of not just the green, but any layup area. Uh, a very narrow uh, landing zone if you do decide to lay up and then anything that misses this extremely narrow green which is almost like a tabletop effect you're now left with a very tricky chip shot where you're now some three meters two or three meters lower than the green rough lie all sorts of slopes uh, probably gonna have some sort of hanging lie or a downhill lie uh, to a shot which is again back towards the water. Um, it proved back in the day in the Spanish Open to be quite a pivotal hole. I'm sure it will be again for our AAA Series tournament. So as you've seen, the new course uh, at San Roque is an unbelievable golf course in its design, the challenges that it proposes to the player. It's gonna test every part of the player's game, You know whether it's their long game, ability to find fairways, distance off the tee, quality of ball striking, definitely the short game um, and the strategic side and I think especially the patience because this golf course will bite you. I think it will be down to a lot of the players in how they react, how they bounce back and certainly how they keep going uh, on a championship golf course of this nature. So I think we're very lucky uh, that San Roque gives us access uh, for our competitors. Uh, who we look forward to having and hosting here. Uh, certainly for more information and for more tournament coverage, please follow our Instagram page.